गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू लैब सेशन ऑफ एक्सेल सो इन दिस लैब विल सी दैट हाउ टू फाइंड डुप्लीकेट नंबर इन ए कॉल ओके सो इन माई लास्ट वीडियो यू हैव सीन दैट इफ यू हैव सम वैल्यू प्रजेंट इन कॉलम्स एंड रोज यूजिंग द फिक्स रो or fix column with dollar symbol we can achieve our goal okay now in this lab we'll see that if you have let's say let me increase the size of the cell so that you could see properly with bold now suppose uh, you have a number let's say 10 20 थर्टी टेन ट्वेंटी अगेन थर्टी Okay, now here I want to know that how many numbers are duplicate, or how many num how many times these numbers have appeared. Okay, so for that, what we will do that uh, normally we count from this range to this range. What is this? How many times this value has appeared? Similarly, once this is over, if I move down, so from this range to this range, how many times this value has appeared? Because we have already checked how many times this value has appeared in this cell, or in this range. I mean, similarly, if I come here from this cell to this. Tell how many times this thirty has appeared. Okay. So for that, we have to write the formula that is count count if I know that my column has my column is fixed, but row has changed. So I can simply write dollar g. Okay, and the row is two. From range, I know my column is fixed, so dollar g and eleven row. Okay, so you see here we have selected that particular range. Okay, now. You see, in the count if function, it requires two parameters. First is the range, second one is the criteria. So range we have already selected that is G two to G eleven. Okay. Now what is the criteria? We have to choose, or we have to count that how many times the first cell value that is G two value has appeared, or G three value appear or G four value has appear. So initially we are checking how many times this ten has ten is appear in this selection. So I can choose that particular cell value, cell address. I mean, so just press a comma and write the address that is. Dollar G and two and close the bracket. The moment I press enter, you see that this ten, this function will count how many times this ten has appeared in this range. So you can check it now. One, two, three, three times. 
this 10 has appeared in this range so the moment i press enter it will display 3 to see here just make it as bold so that you can see now if i drag it down what will do it will check from this range to below how many times this 20 has appeared because 10 we have already checked that is from here to here this 10 is appeared three times but from here to here the 10 is appeared or uh, the 10 is available you can count that is how many times this 10 is appeared that is twice so we'll go that so second case we'll see if I want to check how many times this 20 has appeared from this range to this I can simply drag it down because if as I have already used this dollar symbol it will take the reference of the below range you see if I want to know here in this cell how many times this 20 has appeared so 1 2 3 so this 20 has appeared also three uh, three times so if i drag it down you see three times set up here similarly for 30 one two so if i just drag it down i can know that this 30 has appeared twice now you see now here i want to check how many times this 10 has appeared okay from this range to this range so you know that one and two two times this 10 has appeared so just drag it down you see similarly 20 20 has appeared two times drag it down at 40 if i want to check the range from this to this down the line this 40 has appeared once only so if I just drag it down, you can see one. Similarly, for 30, from here to here, it will just display one. Similarly, drag it down, down, and you see. So from here to here, the maximum value of 10 is 3. That means this 10 has appeared three times. That means extra two duplicate values are there. So if you want to let's say display whether this number is duplicate or not from this range to this range. Now you can use the same formula here. You can just copy this formula and along this formula you can use the if condition that is equal to if and if I copy this formula sorry or you can simply write if this is greater than one then it is let's say duplicate or repeated or duplicate is better duplicate else not duplicate or let's say single or you can simply write unique or not duplicate anything you can write you can make it blank also so that we could know that uh, those columns who are those are blank is appeared as the unique value or you can just write unique now press enter you see here this cell is duplicate and if i drag it down so this values are unique so you can check that uh, in this range to this range how many numbers are duplicate and how many times these are duplicate and how many unique numbers are there so this is the formula and
this is the formula to get the number of times the value has appeared within a range so that's it practice it and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section so thank you very much